Hey guys, Tim here, and yeah, it's pretty crazy to think, but uh, I'm actually going back to Japan again. Uh, I was just there literally like eight weeks ago. It's not been long, and I am going in approximately two and a half weeks. Um, not sure exactly how many days it is. I know it's a bit over two weeks uh, is when I'm going. Uh, I'm going, gonna leave out August 5th, I believe, and I'm gonna be staying for two weeks. Uh, well, it's a little less than two weeks after you, like, minus, like, a full day going there, and basically I'll leave and arrive back on the same day. So basically you lose two, day, two days of travel, so a little less than two weeks. Uh, but very excited about the trip. Um, as soon as I got back, or even before I got back um, from my last trip in May, I was thinking, yeah, I really want to try to do Japan in August. Um, I want to try to make that happen, if at all possible. And honestly, um, uh, even... I thought that was going to be basically impossible. I didn't think it would be likely that I would be able to save up that much money because you're talking about like four grand in a span of like two months of just excess money that you have to save up um, for a trip. It's like not even just making that much money, but being able to save that much money to just blow on a Japan trip. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I didn't think it was going to be possible, but, uh, I worked a lot. <laughs> I took a lot of commissions um, because one of my jobs, I have two jobs. I have a normal job and a, a artist job where I draw like artwork and stuff. I took a lot of commissions in order to be able to make this possible. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun come tax season whenever I have to uh, file taxes on all that. Uh, I'm gonna have to pay in quite a bit next year, I'm sure. I had to pay in a decent amount this year, so maybe I can buy like a new tablet or a computer or something to sometime this year to offset that way I have like a tax write-off to help with how much I'm gonna have to pay in uh, next year, but yeah. Uh, somehow I was able to make this trip possible. Um, don't know a lot that's going on in Tokyo this time. Uh, last time I had quite a few things that I wanted to do and I found out about more things to do while I was there but the wonderful thing about Tokyo is uh, there's literally always something to do there's always a festival of some sort or some type of like anime pop-up shop or like anime event to go to and it's just it's really just an amazing place I really love Tokyo but one thing I'm definitely gonna have to do I'm definitely gonna have to get a haircut my hair is getting a little unruly right now but we're definitely gonna have to get a haircut because I don't know if any of you have been to Tokyo in August but it it is brutal and this is coming from someone that's from Florida which is like uh, right on the ocean um, I'm from uh, down near the Everglades in Florida so I know hot I know humid but uh, <laughs> Tokyo is another beast entirely um, it definitely beats it even beats places like Louisiana New Orleans I've stayed there before I've been Atlanta and Savannah Georgia all this in summer like in the peak of summer where it will rain for like 10-15 minutes and then just dry up and be humid as hell um, but another thing about August and September in Tokyo it's also typhoon season and every time that I've gone to Japan in August a typhoon has come through so hopefully that doesn't happen this time um, but if it does oh well uh, I haven't been in typhoon since 2019 so yeah, we'll just make deal with it. I'm hoping it doesn't rain a lot, though I would really love for it to just be sunny and it's going to be humid enough without it raining while I'm there. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, I'm actually going to be attending Kamikit. That is the one thing that I know of that's going to be happening while I'm there. Um, I went to Kamikit in 2018 and I always buy something there, so I'm hoping they have some things for sale there this time. The first time I went was, uh, what was it, Kamikit, like 94? And, of course, I have these towels that I got for that. Um, they always sell memorabilia and stuff. And I also have, like, a, a water bottle. No, it's not a water bottle. It's a Bakari sweat bottle from, I believe it's 96, which is the Kamiki for this one, which is the other Kamiki that I went to. And I haven't been to Kamiki since. Um, Kamiki's changed a whole lot since last time I went. Um, it used to be a free event, and just everyone would show up, and it'd be huge lines that you would stand in at line for hours in order to get in um and just hundreds of thousands of people like every day um i believe like 96 there was like over it's like six or seven hundred thousand people that went to that event so it's a crazy amount of people that go to kamikit um it's a lot less attendance now i believe it's like half or less something like that i don't know if they posted attendance but i know it's quite a bit less because they have an attendance cap now um you actually have to buy tickets in order to attend so 
that's disappointing, uh, but um, thankfully, um, I bought my tickets uh, yesterday. Um, I bought it for both days. It used to be a four-day event, but this year it's a two-day event. So, yeah, they've definitely downsized Kamiya Kid quite a bit. It may not actually be the biggest convention in the, well, like anime convention in the world now, but um, it's still a very big event. Um, I'm definitely excited. I haven't been to it in a long time. I'm going to try to buy a bunch of stuff while I'm there. I'm going to try to get um, a, some sort of memorabilia like I always get. If I can get another wall scroll, that would be great. I would love to get a t-shirt, but... Um, both times that I've went to Kamiya those are like the first things that sell out is like the t-shirts you're not able to get those uh, very fast but um, I actually bought the AM tickets so I'm gonna actually get to enter in the AM I'm gonna have to figure out where I can get my tickets from each day I think I'm gonna have to stand in line in order to get the ticket and then get in line a different line in order to get into the event um, so yeah it's gonna be a uh, Good good thing, uh, the Sunday, um, that's not the main day that I want to attend, but I got it for Sunday and Monday. So we're just going to have to see um, how things work on Sunday. I may not be able to buy a whole lot, um, but I, that's just the filling out day, figuring out how the new comic it works, because I haven't been since they restarted, um, like, letting foreigners in. Um, I really wanted to go to Kamiket 100, that's something I really wanted to do, but that was during the pandemic, and it's like no foreigners was allowed into the country, so unfortunately I missed that momentous occasion, um, uh, but I am actually going to be going to 104, so that's pretty cool. Um, I have some friends that usually have tables, but they're not having tables this time, so... I don't really know what all artists are going to be there attending this time. I'll need to get on Twitter and like go to uh, artist Twitter accounts and see who all's attending. But I know a bunch of artists that I used to buy stuff from like both times that I went um, are not attending this time, unfortunately. So, yeah, but even still, I'm really going to enjoy uh, going back to Kamiki and uh, see what it's like now that uh, they've implemented all these changes. Um, hopefully buy quite a bit of stuff. But other than that, there's not a whole lot that I have planned for this trip. I just really wanted to go back. Um, I'm actually considering, I was looking at it today. I bought my trip today, actually. Um, so that set me back like $2,800. But yeah, we're going to be able to save up quite a bit more. We're going to have like three more paychecks coming in and then drawing money uh, at the beginning of the next month for Patreon and all that. So we're going to have quite a bit of money to spend on the trip, but I'm going to try to keep it around at thousand fifteen hundred dollars like spending while I'm there I don't try to go above that but there have been times where I've definitely went above that um, but we're gonna try to keep it around that that way I don't completely destroy my bank account but yeah I was actually looking at a uh, Kamakura I've never been down there before I was looking at that that's actually a little bit further than Yokohama I have went to Yokohama these last two times I've went and I was planning to go to Yokohama again because there's still some things down there that I haven't done yet that I would like to do and I actually saw an ad for Kamakura on uh, Facebook actually and I was like wow that's uh it's really beautiful so uh, it'd be actually cool to go down there I think um I think there's actually a One Piece statue in Kamakura. I believe it is. I'll need to see where all the One Piece statues are because there's a One Piece statue for like each of the Straw Hats and they're like scattered all around Japan. Uh, so it would be cool to actually start knocking those off, getting photos of those. Um, but as far as events, does anyone know of any events that are going on? There was one event that I really wanted to do, but um, it actually starts the day that I'm leaving and the way my flights work down, I'm actually gonna have to leave like early on the day that I leave. So I definitely won't be able to go to the event, but it's a uh, art exhibit by uh, Ray G, um, the creator of uh, Rent a Girlfriend and what's his new series? The Shiwunji Family, or siblings or whatever and it's pretty amazing that both of those like running girlfriends getting a season four and his new series is getting an anime and it only has like four volumes out for the manga so his series are like they sell really well in japan if they're getting like for running girlfriend to get four seasons which i already made a video on this that is literally insane you do not see that very often um outside of like your mainstream shonen stuff you don't see anime get that many seasons but so it's pretty insane to see that and his new series is already getting an anime despite having so few volumes out um even still it's is there even enough content to have 12 episodes the way they blast through manga these days um it's like four or five vo manga volumes even enough to do 12 episodes of like a slice of life stuff because they really blast through those series um these days there's pacing issues and like with rent a girlfriend they cut quite a bit out in the anime from what i've seen and researched on 
Um, yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to make this video announcing. Going back to Japan, very excited about it. Um, going to hopefully meet back up with a couple people that I've been meeting up with these last couple times and uh, have maybe gone some more dates and stuff. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, does anyone know of any events that are going on like at the beginning of August? Because that's when I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there the second and third week. Yeah, it's basically like the second, third week of August is when I'm going to be there. So yeah, does anyone know of anything that's going on like in the Tokyo or like surrounding area? I would be willing to travel like an hour or so outside of Tokyo, but probably not going to go too much further than that. Um, unless I meet up with some people and go further, but we'll just have to see. So yeah, if you know of anything, uh, drop it in the comments. I'm really excited to go back. Uh, I just did not think this would happen, but somehow... Uh, if you work hard enough and set your goals, it's like you can't achieve them. So, and thankfully, I'm able to go because it might actually be January of next year, or it might actually be like May of next year before I'm able to go again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go this winter. I would love to go in the winter time. Um, I want to go in December or January, but depending on how college works out and like being home for the holidays with my family. Um, and I'm already going to have to take off work at the beginning of December to go to Atlanta for the JLPT test. So we're just going to have to see if I'm going to, one, have the funds because I'd have to save up another four to five grand in order to go again in that time. Um, but also just right after the holidays, buying gifts and stuff. Just I don't know if it's going to be possible. So and I definitely won't be able to go while I'm like doing college and that's going to be spring semester so it might actually be next May before I'm able to go again but I'm going to try to go again in winter because that's the one season that um, I haven't been to Japan in so far um, and I was wanting to knock out like all the seasons like I've been this is my third time going in summer um, I've went in fall and I've went in spring so the only season I'm missing is winter so I'm going to really try to make that happen um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to do in this video. Just announce finally going back to Japan. Very excited about it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Later.